one of the tech that uh, I'm, I'm looking at right now, actually in the middle of at home, is um, we've done away with our paid Minecraft server that we logged into that the kids had access to. And, you know, like when I was traveling for work, yeah. I'd be in a hotel room, we'd log into the server together and I'd be on the phone with my kid and, you know, for like an hour while I'm at home or while they're at home and I'm, I'm in the hotel, we could play Minecraft together. Just that oh, little cool. way of connecting yeah. remotely. But uh, I'm using a Raspberry Pi to set up my own at home dual Minecraft server. Uh, one for uh, access through our PCs yeah. and one for Pocket Edition. So the server is running the software for both. And once it's set up, no matter where we are, we'll be able to log into our home Minecraft server. Nice. And have our own world and all that kind of stuff. Um, but that way the kids have full access to it. They can have, you know, give the login to their friends. It'll be behind the security features of our network. So it's safe and secure that way. Um, but so also, you get to select who joins the that's server. Correct. Yeah. But also because it has the ability to do the pocket edition server, uh, it means that on their phones, they can also stay connected oh, as well. Oh, nice. So now, so that's what I'm working on at home. The, the software is installed. I'm just configuring it. Yeah. I wasn't sure how it would run on the Raspberry Pi because that's what, that's immediately what's coming to mind. Cause I'm like, okay, Raspberry Pi, unless you've got a four, nope. you're dealing with one gig nope. of it's, RAM. It's a, it's a three B plus. Um, okay. and I thought for sure it would be laggy. Yeah. But it's not. What about world gen? Uh, so if you fly across the world, is it, is it, well, I haven't to... got, I haven't gotten that far yet. Okay. So, um, it, like I'm just, I'm working through the process of setting it up, but as far as yeah. running it on the, on the pie, uh -huh. it runs okay. There doesn't seem to be any server lag, uh, cool. with one of us joining. Yep. Uh, it'll be, you know, the, the true mm. test will be when we add four five, six people, people oh, yes. remotely logging oh, in. Yes. We'll see how it goes. But I was going to do it with, uh, my Odroid. Yeah. Um, that was an XU4. Yeah. 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 But, uh, I decided to give it a try with the Raspberry Pi just because of the, the power usage. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a little bit lower and, and I had an extra pie kicking around. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's the project that I'm working on right now. And, and, and if it works and it runs well, um, then maybe we'll do it as a feature for the show. That'd be awesome. So Pi 3B plus is limited to one gig of Ram yes. versus an XU4, which has two gigs of Ram. Right. The 3B plus also is limited to an SD card, which right. is shared on the USB bus. Correct. So it's a little bit slow. Yeah. Um, Whereas the XU4 has EMMC. Yes. So I think if you have like a latent, like not latency, but issues with world gen, I think maybe the XU4 might help oh, for sure. solve that. But also, um, if you wanted to upgrade to a Pi 4, you can get up to eight gigs of RAM. I thought about that. Yeah. See, I just had my birthday last week. And the great thing about being not a kid anymore when it comes to birthdays is people are like, I don't know what to give you. I just gave you cash. So ah, it's like, I've got all this cash okay, and they're right. like, use it for something you want. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> computer. <laughs> you want to know what's interesting though, in along those lines, like there's so much work to set it up and get it working. Well, the people that created, um, I always have trouble with it. Belena Etcher, mm -hmm. Belena. Yep. So the tool that we use to, to image our SD cards and yes. the EMMC. Great program, by the way. Yeah. Uh, they also have. Balena Minecraft. What? Yeah. So they've created an image which is available through their GitHub. And uh, I'll post the links below. But with Balena Minecraft, they've optimized it to, to run as well as can be. Oh. As, now, this as a is Minecraft, like Minecraft server Minecraft for or Raspberry Pi. It's a server for Raspberry Pi. Now, oh. but they do warn that one gig of RAM, you're going to have trouble. Yeah. And I think that's what you'll encounter because the, the, the fear that I have with a three B plus is the minimum system requirements for Minecraft as a server is one gig. Right. Well, if you only have one gig, where's the overhead for your operating system Correct. and everything else that's running. Right. So that's where the, the Pi four comes in with eight gigs of RAM. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I wanted to try it on the Raspberry Love Pi to see idea. if it worked, but uh, if it doesn't work out, then I'll go to the XU four and, Maybe I'll spend that birthday money on just the, maybe the eh? four, and then get an Argon One. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, it's That'd be awesome. It's like the possibilities are endless. It's good.
What do you guys think? Give them a thumbs up, will ya?